So imagine a job shop that facilitates a production system with a molding process, an inspection process, and a packaging process. After packaging, we are shipping products to customers, and this entire production process is triggered upon receiving a customer order. There are buffers in between molding and inspection, in between inspection and packaging, and these buffers are mainly required or needed if uh, a station or a machine is not available for conducting the respective process. So for example, if we molded um, a product or a part that uh, will be contained by a product and an inspection table is not available to conduct the inspection process, then we will have to buffer this production order and the associated products in, in the buffer. And uh, the same goes for um, jobs that need to queue ahead of packaging if a packaging machine is not available. So I developed a small uh, simulation library um, that I built up around SimPy for modeling uh, job shops like this. And I also included an exemplary application of this specific job shop uh, process and uh, made it available um, as a downloadable zip file on my blog. And in this video, I just quickly wanted to go over the case study and give a rough idea of what this uh, zip file content looks like. So in this case, the start point for the specific case study would be that we assume that we have 10 different product types and they have uh, different market shares and they have varying annual demands. And uh, the processing times of the product types di differ. Uh, so there are different processing times and the different uh, processes for, uh, for each product type. We also have some kind of idea of what the, the annual demand looks like. There is some random distribution um, involved and um, currently we have uh, 10 molding machines, 10 inspection tables and 10 packaging units. And we want to get a rough idea of where the bottleneck is in this uh, production system and we want to get an idea of how we could improve it. There is a way uh, to calculate also uh, costs associated to the buffering. In this case the only uh, cost related to to warehousing inventory that is rel that we are considering in this case is degradation costs. So in between molding and inspection, um, there is a degradation cost. Uh, the longer a product has to wait for inspection, the the greater the uh, degradation cost. And basically, it's here calculated as being 100 US dollar per minute wait time. Um, you could of course uh, add. Uh, other kinds of cost calculation models on top of the simulation itself. Here's an overview of these 10 uh, product types that we're considering in this specific case study. There's an overview here of the different processing times and the different processes. And also there's an overview here of the market share per product. And so the project folder that I made available on my blog or in the, in the shop or, um, that you can find on my blog uh, contains uh, basically a configuration file that allows allows the user to change relevant parameter settings um, for the specific case study. Then there's a framework that uh, can be used uh, to have access to classes for modeling job shops in general. Uh, there's a framework built up around SimPy. And then there is a model uh, file or model, uh, model module that basically is a Python script that implements this specific case study that I showed um, in the PowerPoint uh, presentation. And um, then there is a case study description, which is basically uh, a longer version of the PowerPoint that I just went over. And there is also a R markdown file that um, takes you to the uh, specific case study uh, step by step using the simulation library. So this is what the uh, a markdown file then would look like. There's uh, a step-by-step -step guide included here. And so for example, after building up the simulation uh, model itself using the, the framework, uh, we are trying to make uh, an analysis of the wait times in the ahead of the various processes. So here we can see the wait time distribution ahead of the molding uh, or and there is a no this is ahead of molding so this would be a job or a customer order that has been released that is now waiting to to be uh, 
initiated in the molding uh, process. So these wait times we can see here. Um, each customer order is one, um, is one job basically. And um, the wait time of these jobs is then um, reflected in the distribution of wait times here. Here's a distribution of um, the wait times ahead of inspection. So once a job has been completed in the molding process, uh, what is the wait time ahead of inspection? And um, the same goes here for packaging. So what is the wait time distribution ahead of packaging? In the uh, case study, uh, we then also use the simulation model to walk over uh, scenarios. So we add additional molding machines, additional inspection machines, and additional packaging machines. And we try to see uh, which impact this has, in this case, on the uh, degradation cost. So in this case, the degradation cost depends on the, uh, the queuing time ahead of inspection, between molding and inspection. Um, but you could, of course, uh, also investigate other uh, KPIs here. This is just, in this specific case study, um, what we're having a look at. So down here on the x-axis, you can see the different uh, configurations of our simulation um, model. Um, the uh, tuples here represent the amount of additional molding, inspection, and packaging machines. And here um, on the y-axis, we can see as the KPI, the average degradation cost per part produced. And lastly, we can uh, also down here see for each uh, process um, what the impact of additional machines will be on the average degradation cost. So here we can, for example, see additional machines added to inspection process and uh, how the impact will be on average degradation costs. And um, here we can see the same for additional molding machines. And uh, down here we can see the same for additional packaging machines. So clearly adding additional inspection machines in this case will have uh, impact on um, the degradation costs. And if we add additional inspection machines, we will reduce the degradation costs. Um, yeah, so this is basically um, the solution to the case study uh, after consuming the, the framework, um, which is done in the beginning of this uh, R Markdown file for implementing the specific uh, job shop and uh, you can also do uh, use the library as a template for implementing other job shop um, problems um, and as a start point for additional customizations.